Hello guys and welcome to a new video. This time we are doing something different. Now I will kinda cast or review my gameplay. Recently participated in Shanks tournament, a ranger tournament, and I used a smurf account named Crime the Link. And this is the first game between me and Prime Bobby, I think it's against Rohan. So I'm starting with an Urupit. Cancel the furnace because here against Rohan I want to pressure. So I will have like two Urukai to defend my base and then I will push with the other ones to try and deal damage to his farms. Capturing the, the lumber mill, sending the other Uruk in the middle to scout. Having a worker made him to scout the area one on one a bit up, one a bit down because the peasants can really rotate and that can be annoying. And maybe I will be able to catch some. Making some more workers because it's always good to have workers. Now the second Urukai is on the field. And let's roll. Moving one worker up to scout. Maybe there are some peasants, maybe there are not. I see a hobbit. Let's chase the hobbit and any peasants? No peasants there. In the middle? Nothing. Let's go back. Okay, the hobbit. It's annoying. Dealing damage. Okay, let's get some more orcs. Uruks, why not? And war chant and split them up. Oh, now Rohan is pushing through the middle. Don't really like that. Time for war chant, boys. One can defend and one can push easily. Let's run from the Hobbit also. Now it's time to chase the peasants. Meanwhile, we are making more and look what look what we catch with the worker. Some sneaky little peasants. Their plan were to run around my base and destroy my farm. My meal actually. But for that, they are gonna suffer. And also the worker on top side was useful because I was able to see more peasants pushing. Time to pressure both the farms. We can defend that easily. And on the bottom side, we need to pay attention to the peasants. And here they are. Just chase them down. Always be sure the posi the formations are changed. So you deal as much damage and take as little damage as you can. More Uruks now. We need to get the pipeline. Oh, position. Nice. Never mind. Here, it's running away. And now he's sending more peasants. Them to move the workers. So they are they don't get targeted by the peasants and the hobbit. So we can also repair. We are dealing damage to both the farms, which is pretty good. Every new worker needs to defend. That worker I wanted to kill the hobbit so he doesn't cloak. Because if the hobbit cloaks around your meal, it's not good. And yeah, he cloaked. If this meal is gonna go down, it's gonna be bad. Don't remember what happened. Okay, now two rooks. Time for creep. But Rohirrims are already there. Let's buy some time. Sotter house, cancel. Nice, so he's wasting time. And now he already trampled, so they will just die. So it's time to run around and not let him capture the farm. Because that's gonna be good for us and bad for him. Five man time. You can capture that meal with the worker. And now, big merchant and creeping action. And it's so hard to put them together. Two buffed Urukai are just enough to creep a layer. Maybe I cannot kill the full layer, but I can get the money. So that's good. As you can see, I'm just running around with the Uruk, trying to be annoying. Only now he was able to capture the farm, and now time to move the pikemen. I'm sending them down because I know there is a rock hit him, and I'm also seeing him. With the power of vision from the workers. He's creeping. We need more pikemen. I'm not making towers right now. Because I have some pikemen and they can defend. I don't have a lot of buildings. And probably now he needs to creep. It's better time investment. Two power points collected. Just enough for the industry. And we need pikemen. And money. 
can level two Rukai, that's pretty good. And can we? He's paying attention. Just let them die, man. Don't move them that much. Okay, let's get the tower. And now it's gonna be the moment. Change formation. Both the money, perfect. Perfect situation. We also got the last hit, the experience, and also got the money. So that's perfect. Also, I forgot the money about uh, the slaughterhouse in the middle from the creep. Now, time to make furnaces. And from in this matchup, you need works. As you can see, Rohan already started to make some peasants. And the works are the best thing that can deal with the peasants. And they also are also good for the map control. Because you can just run around, kill farms. They have the same speed as Rohirrim, so you not get caught that much. Not, they don't really have a counter. Rohan doesn't have a counter for them. Because Rohan doesn't have Pac-Man. Let's try. When you have a banner like that, never change the formation because the banner will just disappear. I don't know why. It's a weird bug. Can we f now we are fighting the Rohirrim and I think he might lose them. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. Look the mini map. Look the mini map. Need to run. He's paying attention to. Oh, and we kill them. He's paying attention to a lot of stuff. It's hard to keep track of everything. We need to run. We don't want to lose Pagman peasants because they give a lot of power points. But in the same time, we cannot stay with our Pagman in the base because we will lose map control. And Rohan will just get more money and more money. We have only one tower. I should have made more. But now I'm just focusing on getting words. And trying to keep a bit of the map control because now it's hard. I'm losing the Pac-Man there. See pac there everywhere and Rohirrim's are in my base. Rohirrim's are going for my warp it. Howl ability news. Let's move the Pac-Man. And can I survive this? Can, can my warp it? For no! So you down my warp it. And the Rohirrim are also gonna escape. Time to pick. Uh, they did not attack. They bugged. I wanted them to follow them, but... Oh, I couldn't. Change the formation. Nah, no point. There anyways. And now we need to wait more time. Because that that was a pretty big hit. Lourdes. Lourdes can get some pretty good levels from the peasants if he's able to kill them. Pagman also needs to go. Because we need to get the map control. As you can see, the map... It's not really visible because we don't have any control on the map. But now the walls are able to deal damage. Pagman are not in the safest spot right now, but still better than before. Have only two towers in the base, so if he's rushing shields, that's gonna hurt if he's going for my base. But I have some Pagman, so that they can help. And the warp it should be built up, making more works. And that that's just feeding. Lourdes is getting levels, almost level 2 Lourdes. Scout all Rohirrims. Rohirrims are pretty good to get levels from. He's going for my farm. Other Pygmans are not doing that bad. Lourdes level 2 right now, perfect. That Lamborghini doesn't have a lot of workers actually. Need to make more. Pygmans information because the Rohirrims are around. And these ones are kinda low, but no problem. Lourdes is leveling up. Now, second work. Now they are gonna help me. Industry will be used. And we need more works. We need uh, like three works on the field to actually do something. This is such a good catch. They also have heavy armor. But now look. Rohan is preparing for a push. There are Rohirrims plus shields plus Theodin. That's no good. They don't have shields actually, only heavy armor. Let's get that into tower up, tower up, and prepare the pikemen. Peasants to deal with the pikemen. And they have also forged blades. And this is rough. This is this will be rough. I don't know if you can defend this one. You have some pikemen, that's true. You have some works. More works are coming up. But our map control is looking horrible. An elven summon! Run! Pikeman, run! Run, Pikeman, don't die! Worse. Need them to trample them down. 
to do Lourdes is able to deal some damage but not that much but now it's time of the words and Teodin misposition misposition for Teodin and he's gonna be crippled watching on the words that to deal damage Lourdes carnage carnage on Lourdes Teodin you are Theo dead Teodin is dead level 4 Lourdes now it's time to run position on every single pikeman try, try to keep Lourdes alive Lourdes is still alive Palantir on the works to try and chase them down. But we don't have upgrades on the works. That's not good. But now it's time to go for the upgrades. Now he's starting a fight, but we need to run. We cannot fight this one. And we are able to defend and also kill Teodin, which is good in my books. But we need more Pagman, we need more units, we need more of everything. But it's hard. Try to catch them, no. But now. I have three walls on the field. That means my control is gonna be for me. So no against who I was playing against, I think. <laughs> okay. Pagman. Armory now. Armory. <laughs> I didn't know if I want to go for Saruman or Armory, but I just chose the safe spot. That's that was upgrades. Saruman could also be good, but if he had a big army, I uh, don't know. Could be a weird situation. Pikeman in, in position, Wars also fighting. The Wars, Howl ability, and the Rokirim are about to escape. Fighting is going everywhere. These peasants are really annoying. And my Wars! I are dying, my Wars! They are also gate rushing! These Wars are doing whatever they want. And this one is dead. That's not good. But now we need to get the upgrades. Be delayed, cash loading. Wasting time a bit, but I just forget about this kind of stuff. But the, these peasants are really good to feed me power points. Lourdes also moving, he's level 4, Carnage is also available, so if Rohirrims are fighting me, I can use Carnage and survive, and then Pagman will reach Lourdes in time. Need to get more workers on the field. Works. Need to control the map, we need to contest whatever we can. And full upgrades will be purchased. Teodin is back in the f on the field. But it's hard to pay attention everywhere. Works need to move and kill the peasants because they are the important ones. And Rohirrim, he's not paying attention. I also use Cripple on that one. But cancel it because I knew he would die. Wanted to use that just to be sure. Full upgrade to Rohirrim with leadership from Teodin. They can actually solo my pipe man without upgrades. So that's not great. Because Teodin is getting levels and also the Rohirrim works in position. Time to go and kill some more peasants. Upgrades are getting avail are available now. And now Teodin. Another catch. Another cripple. Cripple. The pipemen are kinda dead. That's not good for us. We need to change. Carnage will be used, but also Legolas is on bottom left. He will be used, but we are able to kill Teodin just in time. And now it's time to run. Now it's time to run. Both upgrades. We need to get the upgrades and save Lourdes. Position. Move Lourdes so that he needs to run in the pipe, but in the same time, Legolas is running. is shooting at me. Lourdes is on HP. Lourdes is on HP. He's so trying to escape. But Legolas is following me. He does not stop. We need to pay attention to other stuff. Do not waste time. I don't know what's happening. Legolas is just dealing damage. And my work is gonna die. No, yeah, it's gonna die. Five men are on the field. Ah, they have armor, but they also need to run full upgrades. Now it's time to delete the armory and now get some army. Lourdes escaped. That's good. He's also level five. That means we have leadership. Five men are able to, to keep the map under our control. Sad part is that from the three wars that we had, we lost. And even more. And now we are only one work on the field. That's why I rebuilt my war pit to make more. Pi man, we need to give them upgrades. When you fight Rohan, the Pi man only need banner and uh, forge blades to fight Teodi leadership and uh, Rohirrim. But armory also helps against arrows. That's why I give them up. Heavy armor, as you can see, because they are more tanky, more resistant if they're kind of low and stuff. 
worse, able to get some map control, we have 8 power points, pretty good. That means we have rain, and these two Uruks that you see there are saved from the start of the game. War was creeping the top war, and the other one was creeping the middle one. It was just the banner that escaped, if you remember, from the start. Regulus is able to deal damage and kill my pikemen, it's a good counter. I don't know why I'm building heavy armor. Oh, that's why, because elves is again available. We need to run. Now we're getting some more works. Crossmen are moving. We need works with full upgrades. Let's run. Wars on top side also running. We have this meal, which is pretty good. But the elves now are just gonna be annoying. We need to pay attention everywhere. Two words are just enough. We need to get money to get full combos ASAP. Elves, just trample them. She's in formation, that's good for him, but what can you do against the power of the works? Oh, never mind, you have extra reinforcements. Run! <laughs> Regulus also taking the control on the bottom side. And now more pikemen. Two combos, two or three combos with two pikemen are enough. Against what army he has, we don't need more. He also needs some pikemen and words around the map to control, so we cannot just use one points just like that. We need to run. We don't have pikemen for our combos, which is not the best. Works are moving we to get the map control. We don't need to give him any map control. Now we have our pikemen. And the man needs a problem now, but we need to move and try and kill the elves. We also have leadership from Lourdes, and he is getting Rohirrim archers now. That's gonna be rough. Because with Rohirrim archers, he can just rotate all around the map. That's not good. Now getting the army, and it's time to move on the top side. Works are able to, deal, to kill the farms. We're not, not letting him to have any farms outside. That's what we need to do. But in the same time, we also don't have any mills outside. Oh, Legolas! Misposition by Legolas. Misposition by Legolas. Two works there, full upgrades. Hollow ability on both of them. Worship on both of them. And also Palantir on both of them. Your Legolas! He's gonna be Lego gun. And he is dead. Let's try to deal damage on them. We have Howl plus Warchant. But they have leadership from Theodine. And that's not good. And we need to run away. Because Wargs not that strong against arrows. And, that's, and there was also a level 5 to hit him. We don't need to run back with the Wargs. We, we just make him think we run back. But we also can deal damage. Peasants, just free stuff to kill for Lourdes to get experience. And now we need to get to the top outpost. Because we kinda need to attack Rohan's base. Works need to run, we don't want to lose the works. Now they are the most important thing that we have. Or almost the most important thing. Because as you can see we are able to maintain the map control. Without them, if you send Pike, Pikemen alone, he could just kill them with Rohirrim archers. Or can get Legolas and we just feed. But with worse, we run around the map. We roam. We do stuff, which is better. Now we are able to get the, our second meal on the map. Now we need to run. We can just run from the top side. Just try to waste time. As you can see, our economy again is not the greatest. We can, we can try and bait him to move units on the, on the side of the map while we are killing on the other side. But there are some Rohiri marchers, we cannot fight that. We need to send them back. Fornes, Fornes, first we need the money. Banner, so we don't really lose the battalion. Now the combos are here to save the works. Lumber mill. We need to get money, as I said. 18 power points. We are going for rain because he has Theodin, and from what new patrol he has, he might even have Aragorn. So I'm scared of that leadership. My meal, can my meal survive? 
Ooh, that pipe bomb not survive, and also not the meal. Worth chasing, trying to deal damage. Palantir will be used, or that I'm not gonna use Palantir because I know he would escape. A nice time for the siege works. Also trying to to catch the Rohirrim of guard in the middle, but he's not going to the middle. He will go probably on the bottom left side, but he probably has an outpost. And we need to get the upgrades. Siege works still work in pro progress. I want to send some workers so I have vision in that area because I never know when he will go for my base because I have literally I don't have anything in my base. So it's completely free and as you can see he's going for my base. We need to move the pipe and we need also to delete the towers in time so we don't fit power points. Now we cannot stay that there anymore. We need to set them back. Delete the tower they have heavy armor so they last a bit long against fires. Now Pagman are getting there. Get he's right, tries to go in the base, but he can't. The Rohirrim are not looking that great. The Furnaces level 3 are really coming in clutch. Lourdes also coming from the other side. Pagman now are moving in position. And one Furnace is gonna go down. Pagman in the position. Palantir on Lourdes. We need to catch Theodin. We need to catch Theodin. We need to catch Theodin. And Theodin is crippled. Now Pagman can just take care of it. In this case, I could give the kill to Lourdes, if I'm thinking about it, so I can have the mini pillage. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> Pyman needs to go down, and now we need to support our battle ram. Because that's just free kill, as you can see now. Kind of a bad positioning, and now we need to, ro to go back. We don't have Saruman. Which kind of hurts because Saruman needs really important now with the Worm Kong Fireball and also the armor leadership that he gives us. And the work! No! The work! The work! Staying alive? He's staying alive. He said that, yes, he stayed alive. Elven Summon to catch my work and my work is gone. What can you do? You are left with only one work. We need to try and defend the battle rams because they are the only pressure thing that we that we have merchant not yet not worth to use merchant because the combos have the damage from the lords leadership and usually you want to use merchant when you also have like a hero cripple to also make him engage you so you have the most stuff pacman we need to take the control of the outpost as i said he captured it legolas at the gate, what can he do? We are using... Uh, wait, we are using industry to get the money. And we need to get a Saruman. Pyman here and there. More battle ramps coming up. And try to destroy as many parts of the wall as I can. Because maybe 2000 resources he has to repair a part of the wall. But 6,000 to repair all the parts of the wall? I don't think he has. And someone on top of Bionis. This is not good. P position for the Pikeman. Ants are killing me. Lourdes needs to run. People was used on Legolas. Not the greatest thing. On Theodin or, or Elmer would be better. But what can you do? We need to get the map control meanwhile. We cannot let this fight. The units are just fighting. You cannot do anything about that. We are losing the combos, what can you do? But important is to try and save Lourdes. Lourdes needs to run. Pyman information. That's a level 5 horse that is about to die if he doesn't pay attention. Combos need to run. You cannot do. Do it. You need also let's I mean they cannot escape them, so it's just we can just have them to kill some units. Now Saruman will be purchased. And that Pyman, that Rohirrim died. We need to move also Lourdes. He's level 6. He's a really important hero right now. And now as you can see, while th that fight happened, we were able to get a bit of a map control. Or at least destroy Rohan's outside settlements plus the outpost. Which is pretty important. But now, but also the setting is that lost almost everything. 
Uh, everything. I don't know. I don't even know if I still have wars alive. But I know that I got Saruman still. And because I don't have wars, I need to rebuild the warp pit. Now Rohan has a free way, he can do whatever he wants. I cannot contest that with anything. I just have some Paimon on the map, but he has uh, Rohiri Mata, as you can see here. So I just need to stay and not film the, him power points with my meals. And now the map control will rotate once again. Now we just need to stay, we need the army. But now we are, we are at we are at our strongest with the leadership from Lourdes and Saruman. Plus, I think three parts of the wall or at least two parts of Rohan's wall is destroyed. That means we can rush his base every time when we want with the Rohirrim. Pagman level four. We need to try and save. He still has level 5 hit him actually. So I don't know if these are the new ones or if I if are the ones on, from the top side. Don't know that. And my meal is gonna go down. Also the one near my base. And the only meal that I still have is the meal near his base. So I'm kinda cooked in this situation. <laughs> but we got two combos. We have two pikemen to defend the combos and we are going for one more combo it's pretty good and with that our last meal is going to go down but I'm not giving up maybe I lost all my army and lost all my map control but I'm not done yet works need to move Uruks spawns so I can make one more combo and have even stronger it's always good to have at least two pikemen inside your base to defend. We are not able to defend everything if he has a big army, but we can deal some damage here and there and pressure and make him pay attention to the Rohirrim to not get them killed. And while that is happening, we can do something else on the other side of the map. But we need to get the map control now. Have one pikemen on every side of the castle and just run they don't have heavy armor they don't have anything my works we need to run he has a big army there also legolas and also aragorn as you can see there so here lord is gonna be pretty important we can't focus aragorn because aragorn is the strongest unit that he has there and it'll be hard to kill but we need to do a move we need to do a move and that's leveling up the units to level 3. <laughs> and also pressure on the map. Works running. And we need to get back our control on the map. Okay, works. Work is running away. And we are also getting the map control, which is quite nice. Elvan Salmon in the middle. And another Warg is dead. I don't like to see that. <laughs> Losing Wargs is not my best hobby. <laughs> but now we need to contest the outpost. I'm using Palantir to scout. Because right now... He's not gonna help you with anything. So why not just scout and see what it's Rohan plan. So I want to capture and now I think this is gonna be a big fight. Eo Eomer Theodin, they're all here. Pikeman needs to stay information. Lord is running away. What is Rolls doing? He's putting land. We need to put land on top of us on top of us. And also rain will be used. Saruman, Saruman run, Saruman run, Theodin! Misposition, can, can I cripple? I was able to cripple Terodimas again! Third cripple on him, and he's just gonna die. Work, it's again going to get the map control. And as you can see, Eowyn is just chilling on the top side. I think he forgot. 
Meanwhile, he's also planning to attack my base once again, I think. You saw the Rohirrim, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. Alpos destroyed, and Elm Queen is just chilling on top side. I was right, he's going for another base attack. Pagman need to be in position. We are able to kill Eowyn. And now it's a now it's hard. Let's see what can we can we defend. Tower demolished, not really needed the top one. But better safe than sorry. We don't want to give power points. That's what Rohan is trying to do. He's trying to fish power points. We are able to kill the level 5 Rohirrim. And also we are able to defend. Quench, he lost another Rohirrim. Pagman are still alive. Urza are still alive. So he lost two battalions of Rohirrim. Quite good for us. Even three battalions of Rohirrim. My bad. Only the Rohirrim matches escaped. Now I have 18 power points. I'm close to Balrog. So I have to go. I don't need to capture the outpost anymore because he has only two parts of the wall broken. My bad. Not three. Two. Combos are getting the Pikeman. Saruman Lourdes. He's trying to attack. I don't know what his plan. Oh, and someone planned. That's his plan. He's trying to steal, but he's not going. And ants. Oh, I was able to steal two ants. That's quite good. So only half the problem now. No more food. 20 power points. That means I have Mr. Balrog. Ew. <laughs> Legolas overextended. And he was able to kill my Saruman. Not that good. But for that, Rohan is going to pay. Aragorn is fighting my Pikeman. Aragorn, I have a surprise for you. It's a demon from the ancient world. World. And it's a Balrog. Let's whip. The whip is not gonna do a lot of damage because I'm not ignited. And look, Lourdes. He's getting chased by Theodin and Eomer. And look, Lourdes level. Lourdes level 6. And Lourdes is level 7. He was able to kill Theodin once again. Gilly is also... Dealing damage, quite nice. And I still have some combos, which is pretty good. But I'm scared about the power points here. When I played this, I was so scared about AOD. That's why I'm not committing with everything. My thing is that Rohan here went for the Elven Wood. That's two power points. And also for Andril, another two power points. And that kind of cost him the game here because he didn't have AOD to kill my army. Aragorn is back in the base. I'm trying to go for a whip. But the Balrog is just gone. Cannot do anything. But these combos are strong. They're level 7 and stuff. They are just doing good. And the Rohan castle is just gonna go down. Having Saruman. And Lurt escapes. That carnage there saved him. <laughs> Was able to kill Rohirrim and also Theodin. Which is really impressive. Now let's move the Pikeman to the outpost, and now the base is destroyed. We can just have like our combos there to just buy time for the castle, because I don't think he's able to kill them, and yeah, that's true. Offensive GG. <laughs> Strategy. And now the outpost is just gonna go down. And the game number one, it's finished. With the victory of Crime the Ling, aka me. By the way, Prime Bobby is a ranger. And the score is 1-0 in the best of 5. So guys, this was the first one. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.